Hey guys, welcome to another video from the Parrot Bros. I'm Dom and today we're here in the unit with the Noggy for the last time. Yes, you saw that right. It is time to make some changes. Now, as you may or may or not known, if you watch the channel regularly, I haven't been um, posting very much recently. And there's a number of reasons I wanted to share with you uh, before we go into what I'm gonna be doing in the future. And there is, there's so many new things going on. Obviously it's summer holidays. I had a holiday for a couple of weeks and I've not been feeling as motivated. And that's for a number of reasons. Um, I've had changes at work. I hurt my shoulder, so I couldn't really do anything. Felt a bit useless. Um, there's oh, loads of other things. And you get, uh, like anything, if you do things all the time, you get a bit of a, a lull period where I just, I didn't feel like doing anything and I needed to make a change. And I've thought long and hard about it and I finally pulled the trigger. And basically, this is gonna be coming off the road for good, for the foreseeable. Um, and that is because basically, I was gonna spend six or seven grand on the engine, which I still wanna do, but maybe not in this car. I wanna spend six or seven grand on the engine, forge it, um, get a turbo, all of that kind of stuff. The problem with this car is, and I'll show you in a minute, is it's not just the engine. If I fit the engine and make it all faster than that, it will still fail the next MOT because it's got rust um, where I took the carpets out. There's rust in the front on the floor. There's rust in the rear quarter. There's a couple of holes. There's um, some rust around where the rear arms mount into the body. And they're all things I've been meaning to address, but I thought, well, when I do the body work, I'll do that. And that hasn't happened yet. So I took it down to a couple of paint shops, good, reliable, good quality paint shops, and said, look, I want a full repaint because the car is, is messy. It looks great in the, the camera, believe me. Um, as I'm sure you say, everyone, oh, Dom is so mint. It's not. And I'll show you around the, the bad stuff in a minute. But, but basically, it needs a whole hit of paint. It needs new seals. It needs um, these taken out and doing. It takes the, all the windows taken out because there's rust all around the, um, the window frames and stuff. And it's about three or four thousand pounds to have a really nice job, have it done properly. If I'm spending six grand on the engine, I'm gonna want a really nice paint job, want a nice clean car that's gonna last me another 10 or 15 years. Suddenly I'm in 11 grand into a TT. Now, some people may wanna do that, absolutely fine. But for me, I was thinking, well, and other people we've had discussions and, oh, you could spend that money on something else, maybe buy a TTS, save a few more grand, buy a TTRS you could buy a better TT and do it on that for less than what you could obviously take some bits off of this and then spend three or four grand on a really nice car like Kyle did. You remember Kyle's? I'll pop that video up in the corner now, the 415 brake G25, uh, big turbo one. And that was a really nice car to start with. And I've been, I've been going through all of these things. That's why I haven't really made any content because I haven't really made any progress with this. Now I've actually, uninsured it, sawned it, taking it off the road, because basically the plan is, and what's gonna happen going forward, is that I'm gonna strip all of the niceties off this, the cage, the buckets, the suspension, the wheels, all the um, PowerFlex stuff, all the exhaust, basically everything tricky is coming out of this car, and I'm gonna just molly coddle it, stick it in a garage somewhere, on standard suspension, standard everything, and just, just leave it. I'm gonna, because I just, I love it. I'm, I can't sell it to anyone because obviously I know all the problems and it's not gonna be worth the money. But at the same time, I don't wanna give it, get rid of it because it, it seems mad to get rid of one of the only noggies left. However, I'm not gonna be doing anything with it in the future. So it's time to say goodbye to this car. I wanted to share it with you rather than just doing it and then being like, where's the noggy? I wanted an explanation. Um, and basically the plan going forward, that one of the other reasons actually, I'll quickly touch on this was, my daughter can't come in the car. Now I love a road trip, right? Road trips I would prefer over track days. It's all about the journey rather than the destination. Now we do the North Coast 500 every year. We do um, a trip to Germany every year. We do Wales, we do the, uh, the Lake Districts, the Peak Districts, the Yorkshire Dales, everything, right? So I do a lot of miles in the car. And I like to take my daughter, she loves it. Like, Daddy, go faster, yeah, loves the exhaust and everything, great. I can't take her in this car. Now, I did not know when I fitted the cage 
that the cage runs directly through where the seat belts mount, so you physically cannot put factory seat belts in, which then means I can't put her in her full car seat because the seat belt has to go through the car seat. It can't have harnesses, thus making it impossible for me to take my daughter anywhere, which means basically if I have to go to any car meets, I either don't go, take my Passat, or try and find someone to have my daughter instead of going to taking her with me, which is, is, is it's not an option. It wasn't an option. And I didn't know that till after the cage was fitted, he handed me the seat belts and said, look, these, these had to be removed. And I was like, um, and be honest, I'll be honest with you, because the, obviously if you're thinking about doing this, putting a full cage in and taking all the interior out and everything, it is horrible to drive. I had to wear over ear headphones to do long journeys on the road because it just, it's not pleasant. It drives lovely, it was comfortable enough. Um, it's a pain in the ass getting an in and out, especially if you park at a services and someone parks close to you. But it's really, really noisy, so it's not suitable for a road car at all. You need to either put sound deadening down or do something because it is just unbearable. The, the decibels inside, you can't have a conversation with anyone on the phone, you can barely hear your music, which if you're thinking about doing sort of a road track car, definitely consider trying to keep your carpet in or something. So basically that's what's happening um, to the Noggy. Let's quickly show you around some of the stuff that's causing me a problem. Let me grab my torch. So, like I said, oh, wait for it to wake up. There we go. So, like I said, some of the bodywork, not great. I mean, the seals like can be replaced and I've got um, original ones, but they're pretty, pretty rank, which is, is fine. Um, the wing's been repainted. It's a different color, as you can see there. Um, the bodywork's just, just really rough. There's loads of, I don't know if you'll be able to pick this up in the camera, but it's had a paint and all the, the paint's all, I think it's called crow's foot where they go, it goes all weird. Um, now, let me show you this. So I found this when I did the foot plate. Let me get the torch under there so I can show you. See the light coming through from underneath? Yeah, there's a nice, a nice hole there. Um, what else have we got on this? Apart from all the usual stuff, I can't show you underneath at the moment because I haven't got it on the ramp. So you've got a big dent there. That's actually been pulled out a little bit, so it's not so bad. These are all minging, but again, replaceable. It's, it's just really tired, but there's a hole. I don't know how well I'm gonna be able to show you this. I'll do my best. There's a hole in the rear arch. Uh, so awkward to get in and out. Ugh. Uh, oh yeah, if you look down, I'm taking my hat off, if I put this in here, if you look down there, see how rusty it is, there's a hole in the, there, look. And this, this is the problem, when you strip a car, you suddenly find um, loads of issues, there's a load of rust on the floor down there, that's breaking into a bigger hole. Um, the front on the passenger side isn't actually too bad, um, but it's just, everywhere you look, it gets worse and worse. Now, like I said, if it was just little bits, fine. There's quite a bit structurally underneath that I'm not super happy with. Um, and it's just, it just doesn't warrant spending. And uh, the, the other thing is time. Now, obviously I said I've changed work. I also did my motorcycle test because it's something I've always wanted to do. So now I've got a full bike license. I'm gonna get a bike. Um, but the, the time aspect has changed. I don't have as much free time. I have time, but I don't have time to completely strip the engine out, um, take the full underside apart, do all the sand and get it prepped, ready for paint, take it to the paint. If I had to do the paint in the engine, we're probably looking at two years. And I like making content, but the problem was I got to a point where I, couldn't make any content because I didn't have time to do it all and it would have taken me a month to do one thing that needed doing on this. And then oh, I just, it, you lose motivation. So going forward, I am on the lookout for and or finding a new TT, something that's either really clean, had some work done already because that will save time and then I can make it my own. Um, something with a bigger turbo, something with a hybrid, something along those lines. Now, 
I expect that to happen quite soon because the TT highway of uh, all of you guys and everything else is super and I'll get inundated with messages. I have actually got a few inquiries on a couple of things um, and hopefully I'll have something to share with you next weekend. But just wanted to clear up what was going on with this and where I've been and, and all that kind of stuff. So I get messages on a daily basis and I absolutely love every single person that watches this channel, good or bad. <laughs> Um, I really appreciate you and I want to keep making content and I think the only way to move forward is to buy something a bit better, something that's already half done that I can then just put my touches on. I love making these videos but I just, I've lost my motivation with this one just because of the sheer cost and what needs doing and it's, it, the problem was if, if you'd have bought this car and you'd have told me all the problems with it I'd have probably told you just to sell it and buy another one because but I mean, I can't fault this car, and I'm sure you can't if you've watched any of my videos on this and it's been helpful, give me a thumbs up. Um, because I'm sure this video, I mean, this video has helped me make the channel. I've had it nearly five years, which is the longest I've ever owned anything. Um, and it's, I think it's just time to call it a day and just know when I've been defeated and, and move on with something else and um, sort of revitalize the channel. Still gonna stay Mark One. Um, hopefully this new car will help me find my love again for it. I absolutely love the shape, but like anything, like I said, you get bored. Um, so instead of me rambling on anymore, bye to the Noggy. If you'd like any of the bits that are on this, they may or may not be sold already, but drop me a message. <coughs> Excuse me. They're harvesting up here, so the dust is terrible. Um, so yeah, if you want any bits off of this, drop me a message. If they're still available, we can discuss it. Um, like I said, full cage, seats, wheels, Basically, most things. I'm keeping the shift tower. There's a couple of things I will keep in preparation for something else. Um, but it's been nice to share this with you guys. I always feel a bit of relief when I get to share it with you. So there's loads of things that are going on that you may not know about and certain things I keep private, but I keep getting loads of messages. And hopefully I'll be able to share a new car with you very soon. So keep an eye out for that. Um, I am very excited for the next chapter of the Parrot Bros. But as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.